declare your name, your beautiful name, Jesus. There is no name given among men whereby we must be saved except the precious, glorious, awesome, beautiful, triumphant, victorious name of Jesus. 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 Lord, we speak the name Jesus. Our heart is enraptured with love and glory and majesty and compassion because you love us with an everlasting love and you draw us to yourself, Jesus, with loving kindness and tender forgiving us, accepting us in the beloved Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We extend this entire atmosphere over the nation. The nation, the nation need this atmosphere of love and grace and mercy and forgiveness. We extend this atmosphere of Holy Spirit in Jesus' name over all over every nation from east to west, north and south, over every continent, the entire globe saturated and endued and empowered with the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we Jesus. declare the name of Jesus yes. over every nation. Yes. And we declare yes. the lordship of Jesus, yes. the love of Jesus yes. Yes. over every nation and over every person, Lord, in the nations. Yes, we Jesus. cry out to you, Lord. We continue this posture of proclaiming your healing in our land yes. and proclaiming your healing yes, in our land. Not, Thank you, Jesus. not only our nations, but our own hearts. Yes. and our own lives and we cry out Lord on behalf of every hurting person yes. in the nations Lord there are so many hurting people right now across the world and they are crying yes. out Lord they are crying out for help they are looking yes. for answers help them, help them. they are looking help for them, truth Jesus. and they they don't know you Lord but you know them and you love them you love every heart you created every heart and Lord we lift them all up we lift up the hurting people and on behalf of them Lord we say heal my land yes. heal my heart heal my brokenness and yes. restore me back to you yes. draw me unto you yes, Jesus Lord. we cry out the name of Jesus on behalf of every person in the nations the people hurting other people Lord we cry out on their behalf the hardened Thank hearts you, the Jesus. people with yes. hardened hearts the leaders who are persecuting the oppressors who are keeping people down Lord we cry Jesus. out on their behalf and we say heal me Lord draw me unto you reveal yes. your glory yes. show me your glory and Lord for every person being held captive every heart that's hardened and that's hurting and that's in darkness Lord we cry out on their behalf and we say heal me Lord yes, yes, hear Lord. my cry Jesus reveal yourself to me show me your glory and bring me into the fullness of the destiny that you have Lord you have a beautiful destiny for every nation yes, every nation yes, you want Lord. to become a sheep nation and so we proclaim it right now in the name of Jesus every nation across the world is becoming a sheep nation yes, yes. and crying out to the Lord and following the perfect will of Jesus and we thank you Lord we thank you for your promises over the nation and we thank you for your love over the nations this morning in the name of Jesus yes, Jesus. amen and <laughs> beloved welcome it's so lovely to see you here in the house it's and so it's good so to be lovely here. to see you online and we welcome you around the world and we take live nations prayer requests so if there, if there are nations that you're carrying on your heart if there are nations that you love and that you want us to join in agreement and prayer for enter them into the chat and our beloved media team will let us know and we will join you in prayer and agreement over your nation. Yes, Jesus. And we have a wonderful, amazing miracle story from Indonesia. It's from the wife of a young leader, youth leader in Jakarta, Indonesia. I don't know her name, but his name is Joshua Christian. The same name as my third son, Joshua Christian. And she was pregnant. She was seven months pregnant when the pandemic hit Indonesia. But so many people were out of work. They began to starve 
starve. So she and her husband collected food from every source they could, and she would knock on the door. She's pregnant. It's sticking out here. She'd knock on the door to these Muslim people. She's a flaming Christian on fire for Jesus. And she said, Jesus told me to come bring you food. And they said, well, aren't you afraid you get the fires aren't you afraid? No, Jesus protects me. And they would say, then your God is a God I need to have. I need to come to Jesus. Every day she go knock on the door and tell them the same story about you. And thou, not thousands, hundreds of people were won by this wonderful young mother, seven months pregnant. Now she is got a three month old baby girl. I saw the picture of the baby girl on YouTube three days ago from Joshua Christian, the father. That's an amazing testimony. Not afraid. Jesus takes care of his own. And as she is being protected by the Spirit of God, God is bringing people to Jesus all across, all across Indonesia. Jakarta will be saved. Indonesia, every island will be swept into the kingdom of God. We declare this now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Whoa, I, I felt love that. That's Indonesia. a great story. <laughs> and beloved, we step into the Word of God now, yes. and we proclaim the Word of God over every nation, over every region of the world. Yes. In faith, <sighs> beloved, we extend our faith on behalf of the nations that Jesus is faithful to perform his word and watchful to perform his word. So join us in our opening scripture that we're going to speak over all of the nations. And our opening scripture is <laughs> right here. It is out of Acts 10.35 in the Passion Translation. And it says, it makes no difference what race of people one belongs to. So, beloved, listen to this. We speak Doesn't this matter. over every nation. It makes no difference what race the people are. If they show deep reverence for God, and if they're committed to doing what's right, they are acceptable before Him. So, beloved, all you have to do is receive Jesus right. and proclaim the love That's of it. Jesus and look up to Jesus. It doesn't matter what nationality you are, what color your skin is, what race you're, you're from, what your family background is. Jesus is no respecter of persons. He loves us all the same. Right. So, beloved, join come us in Jesus. that faith. That's Just right. come to Jesus. <laughs> Whoever calls on what name, Jesus will be saved. And you guaranteed eternal life just like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's good news. And now That's we good go news. to Israel, Yes, right? now we're going to pray over Israel. Wow. We love Israel. Yes. And so does the Jesus. Jesus the nation of Israel. The land of Israel. And this is such a lovely time for Israel because Jesus is pouring out his spirit anew upon Israel. It is the feasting time, the time of honoring Jesus, the time of loving the Lord. And so, Lord, we ask that you pour your provision and your blessing and your kisses from heaven upon the nation of Israel, that you turn every heart in Israel from border to border to love you and to seek you and to serve you, and that you give peace to the border Lord, we speak to every region of Israel. We speak to the West Bank and the Gaza Strip and the Palestinian areas and the Arab areas and all the different nationalities and races, yes. just like the scripture said that we just read. We proclaim over Israel that it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. Jesus loves you and he is drawing you unto himself. So Israel, receive the love of Jesus now for his glory. Yes. And now we come to America. America, we have prayed. We have turned from our wicked ways. We've sought the face of Jesus. America, America. Jesus is 
healing you as we speak today. He is healing Hallelujah. broken hearts. He's healing anger. He's healing injustice because we have sought his faith. The body of Christ in America cried out, cried out. We have turned from our own wickedness. We ask forgiveness and God has forgiven us. America, we have been forgiven by the power that's in one name. There's one name exalted over Jesus, over, over America. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare America, you will be saved because we cry out one name, Jesus. Amen. And we proclaim that Jesus is bringing us back to being yeah. one nation united under God, under God to serve and love and seek the face of Jesus. And beloved, we're already getting nations prayer requests, so keep them coming and thank you for your hearts for the nations. First nation is Indonesia. Oh, oh we just had our miracle story from <laughs> Indonesia. We love Indonesia. Amen. We so rep we so honor the brothers and sisters, the young people. They're taking the gospel all across the nation of Indonesia. We heard just two days ago that in some area, 40% of the people are being swept into the kingdom of God Hallelujah. by the power, the reviving power of the Holy Spirit. We declare that for Indonesia will be saved. You will bow your knee in the dead. Come to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and Mexico, Mexico. Oh, we lift we up the nation Mexico. of Mexico. We love the land of Mexico, and so does Jesus. Yes. He is setting the captives free all across Mexico, and he is going into every household. I just hear this so clearly from the Lord. He is going into every household, and he is setting the captives free, and he is bringing everyone yes. into the Word of God, and he is aligning all of the hearts and the wills of the people and the minds of the people to follow Jesus and to receive his love. And Canada, we love our native people right above us. Lord Jesus, I ask that you stir the fire of revival from Victoria to New Brunswick, from the top to the bottom, from the Yukon, Yukon Territory, clear down just above Seattle, Washington. So Father, let Canada vibrate and oh, yeah. pulsate Woo. with the power and the love of Jesus. We declare Jesus Christ is yes. Lord over Canada in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Haiti, Haiti. The land of Haiti. Yes, we, we love praying Haiti. over Haiti. Larry's granddaughter Kaylee, is a my... missionary who goes That's to right. Haiti and she loves the land of Haiti and she is so blessed by the people of Haiti. And we just thank you, Lord. Yes. The Lord took Larry's evangelistic <laughs> anointing and his missionary heart and he gave it to Larry's granddaughter. My favorite dad. Kaylee. Kaylee. And we just release that. There is just a generational releasing yeah. right now of mantles and anointings yes. from older generations to younger yes. generations and across families and across uh, family groups and, and right. extended That's families. Right. The Lord is just doing a work in generations and yeah. families right now all for his glory. And then the nation Venezuela. of Venezuela. 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 Jesus holds you in his hand and he's not about to let you go. You can wiggle. You can <laughs> squirm. You can do this and that. But he he's not going to let you go. He healing <laughs> your land. So Venezuela, <laughs> come to you. Ven a Cristo. Hoy me bien. Hoy me bien. Venezuela. Ven a Cristo. Pronto. Pronto. Declaramos los nombres de Jesus. Ben hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Jesus, Venezuela. Andale, oh, andale. Man, man. And, andale, andale. <laughs> ben a Cristo. Pronto. Rata shalada barata. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, beloved, and we now, are getting ready. ready to go on our journey. So, join us. Journeys. We go through Holy Spirit translation to every region of That's the world. Right. And we lift up the nations for Jesus. So, join ready. us as Holy Spirit expresses.
has whoa, whoa, whisks whoa. us away and takes oh, spinning, us spinning, spinning, to spinning, our spinning, first spinning, date. Spinning, spinning, and spinning, here spinning, we spinning. are, our first land, and it's the Middle East. Middle East. And we are going to proclaim our scripture over all of the Middle East. And it's out of Luke 24, 47. Now, listen carefully. Also in the Passion Bible. So listen, Middle East. Now you must go into all the nations. So Middle East, listen. The Lord is sending you out. He is That's calling right. you. And he is sending you out into the nations. This is where he put the call to go to That's the right. nations and spread the good, the good news and the love of Jesus and heal the sick and cast out the demons and set the captives free. That call is still alive today. That's and right. he is resurrecting it and he is reviving it across all of the Middle East right now in the name of Jesus. You must go into all the nations and preach repentance and forgiveness of sins so that they will turn to me. Start right here in Jerusalem. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> so it starts in Jerusalem, but it goes throughout all of the Middle East, all for his glory in the name of Jesus. And our first nation to come to is the glorious land of Iran. Listen, Iran is changing. Iran is pulsating with the power Woo! of God. I, the, the man in white, the visions of Jesus is happening all across this great nation. And you'll find the cross is going to appear on their flag. The cross of Christ is going to be all over, superimposed upon all the imagery. Iran, you'll find the Iranian people crying out in Farsi, save me, save, save me, Jesus, save me. I met Iranians all across the world, and they're coming to Jesus because of the power that's in that beautiful name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And next we come to Jordan. I heard the Spirit of God say about Jordan, this is the friend of God, the friend of Israel. Jordan, you become a friend to God's land, friend to Israel. And the red rock city of Petra is in the nation of Jordan. I've been to this city. It's an amazing city built out of red rock. And it's where the Jews will escape. So Jordan is very special to God because they're right next door to Israel. And they are Israel's friend. We declare this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And beloved, we're getting more nations' prayer requests. So we lift up the land of Armenia. Yo. Oh, the Lord is setting the captive is free in Armenia. We felt that so much in our yes, hearts last yes. week. And he is setting the Christians on fire. He is giving the followers of Jesus a newfound yes, love of the yes, Lord. Yes. And he is breaking the chains that bind them. Right. He is setting them free for his glory and he is protecting them. We proclaim right now yes. that the Lord is putting a new hedge of protection yes, yes. around the cities and the places where the followers of Jesus are across Armenia. And he is protecting them and he is keeping them under his wing in the secret place of the Most High God. Yes, and he picks them up mm -hmm. like the good shepherd does the good little lamb. And he holds our media believers right close to his chest so they can hear his heartbeat. Don't be afraid, Armenia. Jesus has you in his arm, and he will never, ever let you go. Amen. Amen. And, and we Amen. lift up the land of Azerbaijan. Yes, right there. That is a door. land that is persecuting the followers of Jesus no in Armenia. No but more. we say stop in the name of no Jesus. More. We say stop the persecution in the name of Jesus. That's right. Lord, we take dominion back from the enemy. We take dominion back over Armenia and Azerbaijan and all of the Middle East and Asia and Eurasia. And we say, Jesus, these are your lands. These are your nations and you yeah. love them. So pour your mercy and your freedom and your peace upon every land in the name of Jesus. And you bind Azerbaijan and Armenia. They're right next Amen. door. You bind them together by one word. Jesus, you bind them together. All religion is broken and all 
faith in Jesus Christ in all across Armenia and all across Azerbaijan. They're brought together, knit together by the blood of the living God whose name is Jesus. We declare this today, right now. Peace, peace between these two nations. Peace in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. And, and then Africa. We got a request for all of Africa, and Whoa. beloved, we're going to be traveling to Africa in just a few moments. Yeah. So stay with us. Whoa. But we lift up the nations of Africa. We lift yeah. up the entire continent of Africa. Nation. Jesus has His hand upon every nation. <sighs> He has a unique destiny and a unique yes. calling for every nation in Africa. And he is bringing that into the natural right now. He is opening up those doors of destiny for Africa, all for his glory. And he is bringing provision and mercy and love in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you. And now, yes, now get ready. Here we go. Asia. On our next Asia. stop, here we go. Here we go. we're here we going go. to Eurasia. Yay! Yay. Yay. Here, oh Asia. <laughs> here we go. I'm getting ahead of myself. Whoa, Holy Spirit just whoa. whisks us away. We get and so here we are up in with Asia. Holy you don't know which nation you're going to. <laughs> Asia. So here we are in Asia, and we're going to read our scripture over Asia, and we're moving now into Romans 10. Yes. And Romans 10:10 10 in the Passion Bible says, "The heart that believes in Him receives the gift." of the righteousness of God. That's right. And then the mouth gives thanks to salvation. So Asia, listen to us right now in the name of Jesus. He is transfiguring your hearts into hearts that love him and honor him. And he is putting the name of Jesus and worshiping the Lord on your mouths. And he is bringing you to look up and speak of his praises. Yes. And he is drawing you into salvation and freedom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We come to the nation of Bangladesh. Bangladesh, the Bengalis. The Bengalis are an ancient, ancient people. And we say, this is the sun of the brightness of the sun is shining from heaven upon the Bengali nation. Bangladesh is pulsating and vibrating with the power of the love of God. Jesus loves you, Bangladesh, with the love of God. He proved it by the blood red that flowed from Jesus' cross. The blood red that flows over your nation. Come to Jesus, Amen. Bangladesh, come today to Jesus. in Jesus' name. Amen. And next we come to Japan. This is this flag is very famous. The, the rising sun. But the sun that we see rising is the sun of righteousness with healing in his wing. I say healing. All kinds of healing. Broken hearts. Sickness, disease, despondency, despair, disappointment, rebuke. I say all healed all across Japan. Japan is going to have a healing revival. We declare this for the nation of Japan because the son of righteousness with healing in his wing is rising up right now in Jesus' name. Amen, and amen. Now, and beloved, here we go. Now we're going to Eurasia. Eurasia. Holy Spirit's just whisking us away and he picks us up and he says, here, I'm taking you right to the next land that's right, right next door in Eurasia. And here we are. He just lifts us up and picks Ooh, us up. It's so are. fast right. and easy with Holy Spirit Express. And we are going to proclaim our scripture over all of Eurasia, just continuing in Romans 10. Yes. Verse 11 says, For the scriptures encourage us with these words, Everyone who believes in him will never be disappointed. That's right. So, beloved, listen, Eurasia, all you have to do is believe in him and you will never be disappointed. And he is blessing all of Eurasia for That's his glory. Right. We come to the mighty nation of Estonia. Estonia is the most prominent state of the Baltic states. But I say, Estonia, God is removing the stony heart icy heart and give you a heart of flesh a heart that cries out to Jesus Jesus 
receive me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, save me. And when you do that, when you confess, Jesus, Lord, you will be saved. So Estonia, you will be saved as you cry out to the King of kings, Lord of lords. Jesus Christ is his name. Woohoo! And now the and train. And now we get on the train. Holy Spirit just takes us. It's so fast. It just rumbles whoa, and shakes whoa, and rattles whoa. and whoa, dude, here we are. Here we it was are. so whoa. fast. Whoa, now we're in Europe. Hallelujah. It's so fun to travel to all these regions with Holy Spirit and with you, beloved. You're, you're part of this journey as well. So we are going to proclaim our scripture over all of Europe. So Europe, listen. We're moving to Romans 10, 12, the yes. first part of the scripture. It says, so then faith eliminates the distinction between Jew and non-Jew. For he is the same Lord Jehovah for all people. So Europe be united. This is what the yes. Lord is doing in Europe. We proclaim it united. right now. He is bringing all of the nations of Europe together no matter what your background, no matter what your race, no matter what color your skin is or, or who you are. He is knitting you all together as one united body of land, one united region under God for to worship Jesus him sake. for Jesus' sake, That's right. to love him and serve him. And he is setting the captives free in yes. the name of Jesus. And we come to the, the very small little country of Liechtenstein. But Liechtenstein has a distinction be the highest income per capita of any place on the face here. They're very concerned about riches. So the Lord told me to say this over Lichtenstein. Seek real riches. Real riches are in Christ. Buy from Jesus gold refined by the fire of the Holy Spirit. So Lichtenstein, seek the true riches of God in Jesus' name. We say you will be rich in Christ in Jesus' name. And next is Lithuania. Lithuania. And li listen to this. Lithuania is the only nation that has its own fragrance. They have a special fragrant smell. So I say the fragrance of Jesus, the sweet allure, sweet aroma of God is swafting through all of Lithuania. They're going to say, hmm, our fragrance changed. What is the new fragrance? Wow, it's dude. the fragrance of Jesus Christ. The knowledge of the God, the knowledge of the it's the, the, the aroma of, of the knowledge of Christ. That's Second Corinthians 2, 14. Amen. You, Amen. So if you are in Lithuania or from Lithuania, you get ready. Smell like <laughs> People will Jesus. start to smell the Lord and they'll say, what is that? That's Where right. is that coming from? Oh, you can say, oh, it's the love Jesus. of Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. And now we're getting ready to go on our big, island big, vacation. Big, so beloved, come. if you're longing to go to the islands, we invite you to come with us as we do our little hula dance and Jesus picks That's us right. up and takes us here to the go. island nation. So here we are and we've landed and oh my goodness, it's so glorious here with all of you. So welcome to the island nations and we're going to proclaim our scripture over every island. Romans 10, 12, the second part of that scripture says, and he has enough treasures. Islands, listen. Yes. He has enough treasures to lavish generously upon <sighs> all who call on him. That's so all right. we have to do, beloved, is call on the name of Jesus. It's so simple. And all of the love and the freedom and the joy and the destiny and the goodness of God falls upon us. And then we turn to him That's and right. we seek him as our Lord and Savior. That's right. And we come to Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea, I love this flag. It's like a beautiful flag. That's the state, the national bird. Anyway, Papua New Guinea is 95% believer. That's why, the reason why the missionaries from America and England and other nations came and they laid their life down to bring the islander to Christ. Years ago, Papua New Guinea is famous for believers. So Papua New Guinea, we send you out to take the gospel to all the nations, south, east, west, and north. Go, go, Papua New Guinea. Take Jesus to your neighboring, neighboring island in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I just see this bird 
the, the Holy Spirit just carrying his peace from Papua oh, New Guinea peace. to yeah. every peace of nation. God. The peace of God and the good news of Jesus. Amen. So thank you, Lord. And now, another we're getting jump. ready. Now this is a big jump because now we're going to <laughs> Africa, the place whoa, 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 where you asked whoa, us to pray whoa, over. The Lord whoa, says, here, here we, we go. go. <laughs> Join us as we come to Africa. Holy Spirit just picks us up and lifts us and here we are, yeah, beloved. Yeah. And we just feel the love that Jesus has for all of Africa. And we're going to continue in Romans and proclaim verse 13, Romans 10. And it's true. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord Yahweh will be Jesus. rescued and experience new life. That's so right. Africa, Jesus is rescuing you. There are so many people across Africa that are just crying out for help, Jesus, crying Jesus. out for a new day, crying out for freedom, crying out for peace and reconciliation. And Jesus is the answer. So all you have to do, Africa, we speak to you right now. Look up and receive the love of Jesus and receive him into your heart and turn to him and look to him to be your Lord and Savior yes. for his glory. And we come to Kutwaha, Kutwaha, which is the Ivory Coast in English. And this nation is 40, 50, 60 percent believers. And it says the the educated people are coming to Jesus. But wisdom is what they're looking for. Wisdom is Christ Jesus. For Jesus is made unto you wisdom and righteousness, peace and redemption. So we say, Kudawa, come to Jesus and you'll find the wisdom that you're looking for. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And next we come to Egypt, the wonderful land of the pyramid. This is where Jesus came from. Jesus escaped when he was a little baby. He escaped. He and Mary and Joseph escaped to Alexandria to be saved from Herod. And so the Coptic Christians, they have a great heritage. Christian Christianity has a great heritage in Egypt. Egypt, I say, Bow your knee to Jesus Christ. Let the eagle fly over Egypt. The eagle that raised his wing to bring healing and glory and majesty by the power that's in the name of Jesus. Egypt will be saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And beloved, if you have any additional nations prayer requests, I was just checking. Continue to add them in because we would love to join you in prayer for the nations that you're carrying on your heart. Last and now, stop. beloved, here we go. Jesus is America. taking us all the way back to America where we started. He's like, come back. And so Whoa. here we are. He just picks us up and whisks us away and takes us back to where we started. And so we are now in the Americas and we are going to proclaim claim Romans 10 15 the first part of the scripture over all of the Americas North America Central yes, America yes, South yes, America yes. all of the lands and how can the message be proclaimed beloved listen to this this is our call in all of the Americas That's right. how can the message be proclaimed if messengers have yet to be sent so beloved, he is Send calling upon America, yes. South America, yes. Central America, North Send America, all of us. He says, come and go, do my word, go, preach go. the gospel, set the captives free, heal the sick, and bring my love to the That's hearts right. of the people of the world. So that is our calling, and we send out the Americas right now in the name of Jesus. And we come to the nation of Granada. And in 1983, America, United States, invaded Granada to set it free. But we say there's another invasion in the year 2020. And August, the, no, this is October, isn't it? October, or whatever date this is, this is the 12th of October. There's a new invasion coming to Granada. It's the invasion of the Holy Spirit of God, where every Granadian will cry out, Jesus, 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 come into my heart. Jesus, I receive you. So the new invasion in Granada is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. We declare this now in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Whoa, Amen. dude. And now we come to our states, back to the United States. Louisiana. We love Louisiana. The power of God. 
Look at the big pelican here. Union, justice, and confidence. Confidence means faith. So, Lord Jesus, thank you for protecting Louisiana. Thank you that the hurricane has stopped. We say, stop stop hurricane. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, We cover Louisiana by the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you. No more hurricane. No more destruction. And let Louisiana be rebuilt quickly in Jesus' name. Great, great, great for the nation, the state of Louisiana in Jesus' name. Amen. And this flag is so beautiful, beloved, because it shows the pelicans feeding. It shows the mama pelican feeding the baby pelicans. That's right. And we felt that 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 is so prophetic over Louisiana, that Louisiana is going to not need help anymore, but it's going to be a giver of help. Right now, Louisiana needs help for recovering from the hurricane and the destruction, but they are now going to be feeding the other states, and they're going to be feeding the nations of the world, because that is a port where the the ministry is with the boats That's that right. go around the world and heal people and bless the hurting people of the world and that is going to be re- resurrected in the name of Jesus to be a blessing to the nation. So Amen. we thank you and we lift up California our own yes. state. Yes, Lord. Beloved California has such a destiny and a hope in Jesus and That's we right. lift up California to the Lord. We say Lord forgive California. We turn from our wicked ways. We repent and we cover the state of California with the blood of Jesus. And we say, Lord, heal our land. Heal our state. We say, stop to the fires in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for a downpouring of rain and Holy Spirit (sighs) water and the water of life to pour upon our state of California to stop the fires, to redeem the land, to bring new growth and new vegetation and to never let the fires back again we just speak a hedge of protection over our entire state in the name of jesus and lord we give you back hollywood we give you back our movies and television all of the darkness that's out there lord we say have your way with hollywood have your way with movies and television and media and what's being put out on the internet lord we ask for your mercy and your forgiveness and we ask for the light of the lord Lord, to come back to California once again and revival come forth yes, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Yes. And beloved, we are going to speak our closing prayer over all of the nations. This has been such a joy to have you all with us. And we thank you for your hearts for the nations. We can tell by the nation's prayer requests and the (laughs) chat comments how much you all love the nations. And the Lord honors that. And we all honor Jesus together. Thank you, So we thank you for joining us. And we decree and declare Romans 10, 15, the second part of that scripture. This is the capstone of all of our nation's prayers. So listen, how welcome is the arrival, arrival of those proclaimed the joyful news of peace and of good things to come so beloved when the Lord sends us out we are welcomed in the nations the Lord blesses us and anoints us with a welcoming and a joy of preaching the gospel and setting the captives free and healing the sick and doing the works of Jesus in the nations so be encouraged be encouraged and strengthened Lord we are asking for strength and power and new doors of destiny to open in the nations all in the name of Jesus. And as we close, let me invite you to come to this beautiful Jesus who we've been talking about. He says, if you will confess me as Lord, Jesus, be my Lord. And believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. Jesus, I believe that you raised the dead by the Father. Then you will be saved. That's what our scriptures were about today. Confession unto Jesus. And with a heart you believe unto righteousness. So, Father, we thank you that many people are being swept into the kingdom by saying, Jesus, 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 have mercy on mercy me. on me. Just Come cry out to him, beloved. Heart. Come into my heart. Make me brand Make new. Make me brand new. I receive you by faith. I receive you.
you by faith. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. I receive it now. I receive it now. In your name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Beloved, we feel heaven rejoicing over all of the people coming to the Lord. And if you stumble upon this broadcast sometime in the future and you didn't even look for it you just found it that's Jesus and he has a divine destiny for you and he wants a personal relationship with you so beloved receive his love and look to him as your as your Lord and Savior and we thank you for joining us we do this every week if you had fun this week just (laughs) wait for next week more nations we have more more nations more of Jesus more scriptures more Jesus. Jesus more opportunities to worship and love love on the Lord. So we love you. We thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus.